Hello everybody, welcome to another first look at Magic Rampage. As always, I'll leave the timestamp if you guys want to skip just to the gameplay. But for now, let's just talk about the game. This game is developed by Asante Games and published by DK Games Dev. This is a Brazilian company and they basically have two games revolving about magic. And the style is similar to this one, so if you see this one, I think you see the other one. Um, this is a single player, it also can be a multiplayer PvP action adventure RPG platformer thing. This game was released on 24th of May 2022 on the Steam Store, but originally I think it was in 2018 on iOS and Android. I've played this game a little bit, it's mostly a mobile game and there's a lot of microtransactions, not a lot, uh, I retract that. There's a few microtransactions in place where you can purchase more money and get gold and then you can purchase better weapons, better armor. So if you navigate here you see you are using your left hand, even if you're using the right hand mouse, it's, it's just weird. But two options. Graphic options, there's a few options, graphics quality, high performance. This is if you're on your low end PC, but I think you should be fine, this is not very demanding. Video settings, just the screen resolution, it's not even video settings, that shouldn't be called as just screen resolution. Choose the language, there's a few, default is English, but of course you can have Portuguese because they're Brazilian, and there's a few other ones. Credits, tips, um, tips is literally just tips. Credits, who do you are, just music on and off, sound effects. And that's it, to play a versus and a campaign. Shall we dive into the campaign? Why not? You know, you can select three slot, save slots. I'll just move my mouse away. Then there's like a few classes that you can choose. You have the Ranger. I'll go up. You have the Ranger, you have the Druid, you have the Mage, you have Rogue, Black Mage, Priest, Warlock, Thief, Paladin, Warrior, Rain and then you go back to Ranger. You can... I'll select the... Um, Warlock. I like to play with him. You can select the color, the shape of the eyes. There's a few customization options. So I'll just go with this, that's fine. Change the color of the eyes. And body, you just select your skin color basically. Let's go with that way. And press play. Once upon a time, a mighty warlock invaded a castle. Here I am. Infiltrate the other soldiers and find out who is behind this. Da -da. Welcome to Magic Rampage. This is the style throughout the game. Reminds me of the old Flash games that we used to have on Newgrounds and so forth. You have your inventory. This is where you collect your stuff. It's very basic. And you have C on the top left, you see the life, and I don't know, and the uh, mana. 
if you can call it that. And once you collect gold, you get gold on the top middle. You can jump, double jump, and if you press space, so you just see the animation to draw stuff. I haven't got that yet. Oh, so I, have, I don't need this to jump, but I know there's a secret over there, but I can't quite get it. Yeah, all right, let's just move on. Fire means bad, I'm guessing. And Daniel Zelda, yep, pots give me stuff. You get to collect these uh, diamonds, so you can. Um, this is our like basically collectibles that you you have three diamonds I think per level, and then well no 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 and I died. Ah, there you go. Um, you get collectibles, and you have to on there's like secret levels or secret paths that you can. Ow. So you can unlock? I have no idea. You tell me. Yeah, you have done something. Okay. Thank you. No, go away. Okay. I need to wash my face, apparently. Right, so if I go here, now I press space, now I can throw a dagger, and break pots easier. Now if I go back, that's fine. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Ow, ow. Oh, I died. Ah, well. You see how inept I'm at these games. But I was trying to demonstrate to you all the opportunities. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, I'll just skip all this because we've seen this before. Alright, so your objective is to reach the end of the level, dungeon, whatever you want to call this. And there's secrets and collectibles. So if you can find all the secret areas, uh, that's bonus uh, points, money, for you so you can purchase the... So you can purchase more upgrades and whatnot. And you get ah! uh, Don't do that to me. Okay, just kill him, that's fine. Kill him. Yes, I have an ugly face, just give me the dagger. Come on. Come on, give me the dagger. Ugh. And there's a shop after you beat this, you can go to the shop and then you have a level selector where you can like you can go back and repeat levels and try and get all the collectibles. And uh, okay, that's fine. Okay, I'll just go through with this thing. So I can show you the store and whatnot. A potion so you can replenish your health. Yeah, he noticed me, now I kill him. And there you go, dungeon completed. There's two secret areas got collected and there's bonus points if you collect all the diamonds. So that's how you progress to the game. Now you unlock a new dungeon. It's, you have a lot of chapters and then you can continue. There we go, what you're looking for. Alright, now we can buy your stuff and upgrade your character. You can get weapons, you can get armor. Because I'm a mage, I can purchase more magic stuff. But of course, you have to get enough money. And if you go here, escape. More gold. This is the microtransactions. 80,000 gold, 2 pounds 40, 160, 2 pounds 90. Yeah. I would never buy this. I would just prefer to play the game. But anyways, this video is getting long. So I'll leave you guys to it. If you guys want to play this game, I'll leave the links down in the video description. And 
you guys can check it out for yourselves. It's now available on the Steam store, like I said before. And if you guys like the video, like the video, and see you guys next time.